As geotechnical and structural engineers work to better understand the survivability of different building types under seismic loads, a key frontier of study is deep foundations. This study, the first of its kind, sought to better understand the performance of helical pile deep foundations under earthquake conditions. During the February 22, 2011 earthquake, Christchurch, New Zealand was damaged by a tremor which registered at 6.3 magnitude. Due to the soils in the area and the shallow focus point, some areas of the city were devastated by a peak ground acceleration of almost two times the force of gravity. This peak ground acceleration, one of the most powerful ever recorded, severely damaged or destroyed many buildings in downtown Christchurch and caused the tragic collapse of the CTV office building, killing 115 people. A post-earthquake survey found that all buildings constructed on helical piles survived with minimal structural damage, adding to the qualitative proof that helical piles perform well as foundations in active seismic zones. However, until now, no empirical studies had been undertaken to validate these anecdotal observations. Dr. Amy Serrato, a helical pile researcher from the University of Oklahoma, has come to the University of California, San Diego to test these questions on the largest outdoor shake table in the world. Well, we are standing at the world's largest outdoor shake facility. The table has a 40 million pound payload. And as you can see, we have the laminar soil box on the table, on the platen, and it is 15 feet tall by 22 feet long by 10 feet wide. And so we have 10 helical piles that we installed and we're going to test them seismically to see how they react to earthquake loads. And right now the crew is loading on the inertial weights, which will simulate a building load on top of each pile. Several pile manufacturing companies donated materials to the project and installer and manufacturer Torxil Foundations traveled to the site to perform the installation in a soil box mounted on the table. Piles of several types and sizes were tested, including round and square members, plus a push pile to compare with the helical piles to measure the shaking forces and resultant deformation of the test subjects. The team fitted accelerometers and strain gauges to the test members. To simulate independent axial loads on the pile members, on-site contractor, Torxil, bolted cylindrical concrete weights onto each pile. During a later test, a sand skid was used to simulate a building supported by a group of piles. The test included a simulation of the 1994 Northridge earthquake and the 1995 Great Hanshin, also known as the Kobe earthquake in Japan. Northridge 100 percent T0 in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, running. that both seismic events caused extreme damage to structures due to very high acceleration forces at the surface. 100% T0 in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, run. I think it went very well. It performed exactly like we thought it would in the analysis. You know, everyone was telling me that all the weights were going to bang together and everything was going to shear off, but our analysis said that the helical piles were, were going to behave a specific way, and thankfully everything went as we planned. Uh, there was a lot of displacement of the soil around the piles, but that's exactly what you would expect to happen in the real world. And this test is actually a good one to show that we, even though we hit the piles with a 6.9 earthquake, we came back and hit it again with a with even bigger earthquake. So for aftershock effects, these helical piles held up very well. So pretty much it took seven earthquakes today and nothing failed. So we're, we're very pleased with the results. 
but also demonstrated how these piles, even though they are not large in diameter, were able to hold that much big weight and subjected to very significant earthquake shaking. Uh, so the weights are seeing one and a half times their weight in the lateral direction and the piles held that great. So that was really exciting for us. This is history, it's been made today. Right? First time ever, helical piles have been tested this way and they've done that great. So it was a great effort and showed great results at the end of the day. So it's a beautiful day here in San Diego. Work continues to analyze the vast quantities of data obtained during this experiment. However, Dr. Serrato's initial observations and calculations indicate that helical piles exceeded expectations for performance under seismic loading.